Dear friends, we love the months that spring returns to Cobweb Cottage. It is during those days that we remember the old saying, April showers bring May flowers. And indeed it is a pure joy to see the slow transformation, starting with a tiny bud that breaks out as a colorful blossom and finally settles as a bright green leaf, a leaf that in the wind is waving at us, perhaps to remind us that a new exciting time is at hand. The old Japanese maple tree that stands over the cottage always know exactly when it's time to bloom at the start of May. This guardian has awakened and surrounds the cottage with a lovely cool shade just as the days grow longer and warmer. The time between early spring and summer might be the most colorful time of the year. From the periwinkles that line the old stone wall, to the purple pansies we planted in the garden. But the flowers we cherish most of all are the sweet little violets that grow wild in the graveyard beside the cottage. It is nice to see the cemetery bursting with life and especially our dear friend the robin that looks for worms alongside us as we gather violets. His company and song is as joyful as Maytime itself. We are happy to have learned that violets are one of many edible flowers that the spring and summer brings. And they have deliciously become a part of our spring cobweb kitchen. We've made violet shortbread that look like fairy cookies, and this year we tried our hand at violet syrup and jelly. Of course, we always forage for edible flowers with caution and moderation, leaving some for the bees as well. We decided to use the jelly as a twist on a Swedish classic fika recipe called Hallongrottor, which translates to raspberry caves. You might also call them thumbprint cookies, and they can be filled with any jam or jelly as you like.
These violet treats were the perfect purple companions for our first tea time outside in the garden. In these peaceful moments, we gladly write a postcard to a faraway friend and extend to you our latest charming greeting poem from us and the critters at Cop of Cottage. So many things can bring joy to the days. They all seem to come from old-fashioned ways. A nice little rest right under a tree. Listening to birds while having some tea. But one for me lays closer to my soul. A postcard from you makes my heart feel whole. And with those words, we want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye for now.